So in today's video, we're going to take a look at not installing a power supply, but where and how to plug all of the connections and all of the cables into your PC power supply. So we're working with an EVGA Supernova 1000 watt power supply for this particular build. And let's get it turned right side up so I can actually go through these, uh, all the different connectors and all the different ports on the back of a power supply. So on this one, we have four SATA power uh, connectors. So you have SATA one through four, and these are all meant for anything that requires SATA power, your SSDs, your HDDs, and other fan hubs and things like that. Perif is gonna be a Molex style connector. So for more old school style uh, ports, you then have your motherboard or 24 pin connector, your VGA one through five, all four graphics cards and GPUs, and then CPU one and two for of course your CPU power. And depending on the particular build and the type of hardware, we're going to have to use not all of these ports, but only a select few in order to meet the hardware requirements. So for every build, we're of course going to need that 24 pin motherboard connector, and it may be a single 24 pin or broken up like it is here with this EVGA style motherboard when actually plugging in to the power supply. That helps you differentiate which end goes to the power supply and which end actually goes to your motherboard. And in this case, we only need one CPU power connector, but depending on your bills, you might need one of these, two of these, or on the motherboard end, one and a half of these style connectors. Because the CPU power connector has a, a split eight pin style between two four pin sets of connectors. Um, so you can use, like I said, one, two, or even one and a half connections. Uh, we're also going to have two SATA connectors available for us with this power supply. So I'm going to use two connectors that we can get power to our SSD, HDD, uh, a fan hub with our Corsair fan hub, and then anything else we might add down the line in terms of extra hard drives or extra solid state drives as well. And then for this build, I'm going with a Gigabyte RTX 3080 Ti, and that only requires two VGA connectors. So I only need two of the VGA power connectors on this power supply to actually use, but you might need less than that. You might only need one if you have a lower end uh, GPU, or you might even need three of those connectors if you have an even higher end GPU. Um, so that's kind of an overall idea of what the types of connectors are when it comes to these builds. Um, and for the most part, one thing I really wanted to point out with these VGA connectors, so you can see with these, you have a style where it's six pins and then two extra pins. And you can actually have pigtailed connectors like this one, where you have two sets of eight pins. So you might actually only need one connector in order to satisfy a two connector graphics card. Um, but in the majority of cases, you're gonna wanna use two separate cables. That way you can get the full power draw out of your power supply from each one of those individual eight pin connectors on the PSU. Just cleaner, more efficient power, but you can use those pigtail, pigtailed style connectors if you did wanna, you know, if you only had, let's say one or two VGA ports on your power supply. So now that we have the power supply installed, let's go through some of the cable routing and some of the other options that you have with power supply cables. So for this particular build, I'm going with uh, uh, extension cables for uh, both the 24 pin, the CPU and the graphics card cables. That way they have a little bit nicer sleeved, like this nylon cable, more like parachute cable style, uh, just so that it looks a little bit nicer on the actual visible end of my PC. And I'm doing the same thing, like I mentioned for the CPU as well. And now you can really see those dual four pin connectors that come together to get your eight pin CPU power. I'm gonna plug those into the extension and this acting as an extension isn't going to mess with any of the, the different uh, voltages that are coming out of those connectors. So each one of the little plugs in that eight pin connector is gonna be a voltage or a ground or something that is not gonna get mixed up if we're using an extension. But let's say we have another power supply lying around and there's some old cables that we have we're not gonna to wanna to use those. But in the most part, in, in every single motherboard, you're going to have your CPU power connector on the top left and your motherboard connector over on the right of the motherboard. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to run these cables to the top left of your case and then to the right side of the motherboard uh, for that motherboard 24 pin connector. And like I said, you can have one, one and a half or two of those cables. So I'm gonna get the 24 pin connector plugged in it's a little bit difficult depending on the case to get this routed, but it's nice to get a pre-bend in your 24 pin just so that it actually is a little bit easier to get connected. And then we have our CPU pin or CPU 8 pin power cable connected as well. 
And now when it comes to SATA, I mean, the only real SATA device I have in here is my Corsair Fan Hub in this Cor uh, Samsung SSD. So I'm just gonna show you how to get it connected. So every SATA connector is gonna have a little L-shaped pattern. You just wanna make sure you line that up with however the L is on the device you're plugging it into. So for this one, we're plugging it into the SSD. So I just wanna make sure that L is all lined up. And now we have our GPU uh, eight pin power. So for this one, we need both dual eight pin connectors. Some might require only a six pin connector where you can leave that extra second or two pins hanging off. Others may require you two, three, you know, one eight pin, one six pin, all depends on the graphics card. But there you go. That's all of the power supply cables that you'll need to plug in, CPU, motherboard, GPU, and any SATA connections as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys here next time for more Tech Roundup videos.